What up, Team Walk Gals? Today, I got the Slingshot Space Melter 165. This wakeboard is supposed to be as close to a snowboard on water as you possibly can get. The people at iMondi were like, you gotta try this board out. So we're at iMondi today. Thank you for letting us check out this deck. Now these bindings are size 10 and I got size seven little kid feet. Uh, so we're gonna see what we can do with it, but I've never reviewed a snow uh, wakeboard product, but I'm decent at wakeboarding. Here's like some of the tricks I can do. So I'm gonna give this my best shot, guys. Give you as honest of a review as a snowboarder. I guess we, here's a couple snowboard clips. So I know what I'm doing with the snowboard. Let's see what if I can figure out what I'm doing on the water with this thing. I'm so excited, but so nervous about these big boots. Here we go. Oh. She turns. Woo! Going some switch. We go first feature this big one. I actually do feel really stable on the water, even with boots that are way too big. First feature on this thing. Oh, she's sticky. Ugh. See if we can get a like a tail press. Not that good. Go into the air. Felt good landing. Oh, my arms are already dead from riding all day. I just had one of the go-to tricks on the box. Woo! I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna hit, catch my edge. And I just learned this trick. Not sliding as good as my regular board. Alright, we're gonna try a three. My arms are cooked. Let's see if we can get a three on it. Alright, we got a three on it. I gotta get my arms to break. Oh. Even with massive boots. We ripped on it. Oh. Hyped I got the three. I clipped the tail because I it was longer than I'm used to. So like when I was doing the three in the handle path, I like clipped the rope. Woo! Alright, so Cody's gonna go out. We're gonna do doubles. Head cam's gonna be on Cody. I'll help you out too. There we go. Hopefully my arms can survive like four or five laps because I'm I'm cooked. Howdy partner! All right, the space melter, it rips. It felt so good on the water, making turns, going where you wanted to. The ollies didn't feel horrible on it. I would say the only turn down or thing that I was like, mm, with this board is it feels sticky on features. It's, to me, it felt like it wasn't really meant to hit features, but to kind of cruise around, make turns and stuff. But I don't know everything about wakeboarding, so it could be wrong about that. But the local dudes, like the cable workers that I mentioned that to, they're like, yeah, it's sticky on features. And then Cody ripped it out for a little bit. Cody, the space melter. He said it was a little sticky on features. Overall though, it's super fun. I, I'm not good at pressing yet on a wakeboard and I didn't feel like it was like anything special with the pressing. And then when I did do a three, the tall, I mean, I don't even snowboard or snowboard this large. Uh, I did hit the cable when I did a three, but it was sick and uh, I, I enjoyed getting on it. Cody, any extra thoughts on the 
the space smelter. I think it's a really fun board. Like I, I'd love to have one in my quiver, but it definitely like it's not a daily driver, uh, just because of how it is on features and like it turns really good. It's really fun to turn, but if you got to make a snappy turn to get to a feature or get around a corner, it's not gonna react that quick. I'd agree with that. So with that team up, guys, this is linked in the description if that sounds interesting to you. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow in another video. It is daily on this wakeboard, snowboard, everything. Champ, we do stuff.